God. Can I have any witness in this house? Can somebody shout at him? Come on, somebody lift him up in this place. Give him glory. Ah, come on, Zion. Give him worship. Hallelujah. Somebody shout anyhow. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God.
I was resting yesterday, walked to sleep. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, the word of God said that we must always be ready yes. at all times. The truth. Yes. Praise God. That's Acts 16. In respect and honor for the word of God, I'm going to ask you to stand. Amen. Acts 16, I'm going to read from verse 25. Are you there, church? Amen. And we're all going to read, amen? amen? Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. That's Acts 16. We're going to read. One, two, three, begin. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone fans were loose. And the keeper of the prison awakened out of his sleep, and seeing the prison door open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoner had been fled. But Paul cried with a loud voice, saying, Do thyself no harm, for we are all here. Then he called for a light and sprang in, and came trembling, and fell down before Paul and Silas, and brought them out and said, Sir, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved and thy house. And they spake unto him, all that were in his house. We're going to stop at 33. And washed their stripes, and was baptized, and all his straightway. Turn quickly with me to Exodus. Hallelujah. That's Exodus 33. Are we all there? Genesis, Exodus. That's Exodus 33. And we're going to be reading from verse 17. Are we there, church? Yes. And the Lord said unto Moses, I will do this thing also that thou hast spoken, for thou hast found grace in my sight, and I know thee by name. And he said, I beseech thee, show me thy glory. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before thee, and I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee, and will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. And he said, Thou cannot see my face, for there shall no man see me and live. And the Lord said, Behold, there is a place by me, and thou shalt stand upon a rock, and it shall come to pass, while my glory passeth by, that I will put thee in a cliff of the rock, and will cover thee with my hand while I pass by, and I will take away my hand, and thou shalt see my back parts, but my face shall not be seen. Bless the Lord. Put your Bibles down. Normally we would say, join hands. With your neighbor, amen? Well, that's illegal this morning. <laughs> so we're just going to stand and pray. Church of God, we can laugh and I'm delivered. Amen? amen? Yes. We can laugh in church. Yes. Bless the Lord. Please stand. You're not sick where you're unable to stand. Please stand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, it's me again. Hallelujah. Oh God, I am unworthy. And Lord, I am undone. Father, nothing good lies in me except for your spirit. And even now, as we come in your presence, Father, we do not come as if we have arrived, but we come humbly bowing in your presence. For we know that we are man and we are but dust. And even now, mighty God, we repent 
of all of our sins before you. Sins that we do knowingly and unknowingly. Sins of the past, sins of the present. Sins that we don't even recognize. And even now, God, we ask you to wash us another time in your presence. Purify our hearts that it will be right before you. And mighty God, we pray that a soul listening, a soul hearing the sound of my voice will be convicted and will come to know you. Whom to know is life eternal. Father, I pray that chains will be broken, yokes will be destroyed, fetters will be shattered by the power of your anointing. I pray this morning that every spirit that is unlike you, everything that comes to bind and tie up this house, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. We send the blood of Jesus is against you. We decree and we declare, let this house be loose for worship. We decree and we declare it for in the name of Jesus. Somebody clap your hands and give God glory. Come on, clap your hands and give God glory. Come on, clap your hands and give God glory. Hey, Jesus, you may be seated in the presence of a holy God. Church, I know the word of God says that we must try the spirit, you know? But if your spirit bears witness, worship the Lord freely. Because in time you're taking to search me, you will miss God. You come to Robo Shanda. Mandi Katu Robo I don't come to give you a resume. I only come to tell you I'm saved. Somebody worship God in this house. Somebody bless the Lord with me. Somebody praise him. He's worthy. Hey God. I was wrestling what to come and speak this morning. And the Lord said to me, preach about me. Hallelujah. So my topic this morning is Jesus, show me thy glory. Uh, I don't know where you are this morning. But the word I got was Jesus, show me thy glory. I want to preach but somebody pulling on me. Woman of God, you're wondering about the warfare in the church. And it's not so much an external battle, but it's an internal one. Somebody give God praise in this house. Let me take my time. When we speak of the word glory, it speaks to weight or heaviness in God. It speaks to the splendor of God. When you talk about the word glory, it represents holiness and the majesty of God. It means that we want to experience God in a tangible way. Ah, church. Hallelujah. It means that we need the authentic presence of Almighty God. So when you hear a believer shout glory, what they're actually saying is, come God, my God, stay with me. Now many times in the natural realm, we glorify people. We glorify athletes, pastor. We glorify musicians and actors and, you know, we glorify politicians. We glorify people in a certain status or class. Yes. Come on up. Amen. But we also base people based on their financial status. Yes. Come on up. Yes. 
Now, you know of someone, or if someone is very influential, we would say that they, they are heavy. Are they are witty? Yes. Yes. And I always say big man, and we say boss, and we say my G, and yes. my general. Come on. Come on. Because we're classifying that this person is someone of weight mm -hmm. and of value. Yes. Isn't that the truth? Yes. Yes. And when we look on the summary of glory, it is speaking about the physical attribute of God. Am I going to be for you, church? Come on, come on. Psalms 19 verse 1 says, The heavens declare your glory, my God. And the firmament show it, your handiwork. It says, day unto day, utter it speech. Come on, a church. And night unto night, utter it knowledge. But Psalms 19 verse 1 tells us that the heavens alone, yes. my God, Hallelujah. has declared Hallelujah. the glory of God. Oh, I yes. wish I had a church with me this morning. Yes. So when we talk about glory, yes. we're talking about the awesomeness yes. of God. Yes. Ah, church, yes. wake up. Yes. It is the descriptive identification of God the Father. It is speaking about Jesus Christ the Son. And it is speaking of the Holy Ghost. Ah, we shall a church with me. Still with me. Psalms 8 verse 1 says, You have set thy glory, my God, above the heavens. Jesus Christ. It means that when we're talking about the glory of God, we're talking about the wonder, Jesus Christ, that follows him. Ah, somebody bless the Lord in this house this morning. Glory! Jesus! He says, tell them that glory speaks of my awesomeness. Oh my God. He is glorious in everything. You see, man is limited. Ah, church of God. So they cannot be glorious in all things. But when it comes to the Son of the living God, He is glorious in everything. He is God all by Himself. He is the I am that I am. He is a heavyweight champion. None can defeat Him. None can stand before Him. When we speak in a namasi in the biblical sight, we are speaking about the weight of God. We are speaking oh, about the heaviness that comes with the name. He says that is why his name must not be taken lightly. Oh my God. Come on. You see, a child can show Jesus. And nothing happens. But when you get the revelation of his glory and who he is, that is why when you shout the name Jesus, demons begin to tremble. Hell begins to shake because you're calling him with knowledge. Oh my God, I wish I was in a Pentecostal church. I said it's only 
they saw him, they were beholding the master. You don't understand the glory of God is what you need in your life. When the presence of God enters a room, 